What's up guys, my name is Cody, and in today's Madden 20 tip video, we're going to be breaking down the five sets for success. The first set, what is a base play? The reason we're doing this series is this is to try to help you kind of think through a little bit about how to create a scheme and how to start preparing an offensive scheme for Madden 21. If you like this and you would want to see a defensive uh, scheme breakdown, then just leave a leave a comment in the comments or just shoot me a text. My number is 812-216-3644. Uh, it's also in the description as well. would love to connect with you on text for any Madden 20 questions. Okay, so let's jump into this. So basically what I wanted to do today is just give you kind of a glimpse of what I would call a base offensive set. And we're going to do so out of what probably is the best base offense um, of all time in Madden. And that is the shotgun bunch formation. So I'm in the West Coast playbook. And the shotgun bunch is probably the most consistent year-to-year scheme that people will kind of primarily base their offense around. And when we talk about base offense, there's a couple of things that you want to think through. The first thing is, do you have what I would call a power and a counter play? Do you have a play that is consistent, um, consistently going to get you yards? And then do you have a counter play that looks exactly the same as your power play, but goes in completely the opposite direction? And from the shotgun bunch, you definitely have that option. Another thing that I like to look for, especially if I'm going to be a pass-based offense, is I like to look for a play or a sequence of plays that the routes I can get I can get access to all of the routes that I will need. So that's a crossing route, a corner route, a post route, a uh, curl route, you know, in Madden, the way the game is kind of going, the direction the game is kind of going, especially with route chemistries, it's likely that, and how effective they were this season, it's very likely that passing is going to be changed because you're not going to be so reliant on the routes in the actual formation as you are going to be reliant on the other part of the formation. And the last piece of the base formation is can you pick up pressure do you have the ability to pick up pressure? Well, the shotgun bunch um, essentially has, you can easily do seven man protection schemes. And I'm gonna get into that in just a minute. But the play that I'm gonna show you today, and the reason that I wanna show you this this specific play is because it encompasses a couple of things. This is kind of what I look at when I'm thinking about passing schemes and what I look for in a base play. It's also kind of what I looked for in the Arizona playbook when I was running, or. Um, with the spread offense. So the play is deep corner and you've probably heard about this play or seen this play ran. And the, the primary thing that you want to look at here is you have a lot of different things that you can do with this play to make it very, very effective. The first thing that I want to do is I want to show you that there's two specific routes that I want to look at. And so to do that, I'm going to block everybody and I'm only going to send three people on route or two people on routes because I want to show you this idea of max protect. This, this idea of max protect. So if the defense comes out in a cover three, which is what I think we're in, and I motion this guy in, watch Tyreek Hill, watch that corner route. If I wait long enough, I can get that to the outside. And in fact, what a lot of people would be doing out of the bunch, and this is this is going to change from year to year. It won't necessarily be the same next year. But mobile quarterbacks, you know, if you roll out, you see with dashing dead eye this year, you can throw that corner out very, very consistently, and you can fit that in. Let me show you it against Tampa too. Now, again, this is just, this is literally just running two passing routes, and you'll see, I can pass like that up into the outside, and I can have a shot at catching that. Now, again, not always, but I can have a shot, and that's what I really wanted to show you is that with one, with two passing routes, you can basically. Um, beat all coverages here I'm not going to be able to get it but um, if I roll out you'll see when I roll out against Tampa 2 oftentimes and I have to do a little bit of extra extra adjustments on the blocking but oftentimes if I roll out against Tampa 2 watch see that corner and I can fit it in right behind him typically okay so that's another option so then 
let's say they call man to man. So let me show you man to man. And this is kind of more of a route running base, but you'll see you can throw um, their man to man bag just because of that man up ability that Stefan Gilmore has. Um, but you'll see if I just run Robinson on any route, any route, you'll see Tyreek Hill is able to beat anybody else in the game. So again, that manned up ability. And you can run hot routes off of this very easily. A lot of people, uh, and then last but not least, cover four. And I'd say cover four from a press perspective. So if they press me out of it, it's going to get him. He's going to get down on it, but you see I'm going to still get it to the outside. So the point in showing you that corner out over and over again against everything is you can see how powerful it is. Now the next route that I want to show you is the in route. So if I sit in the pocket, pass lead hard to the inside, and there I got um, got lurked by the linebacker. Let me show you this. So if I stand in the pocket, watch right there. You see I can get that diving catch animation, and that's pretty consistent. Now he dropped it, obviously, but um, let me see if I can get the right uh, control so I can actually see things. But you'll see here, this is cover three. And you'll see if I just wait right there. You see that? And that's consistent. The deep in route, what it does is it gets, it's a, such a deep in route that it gets to a level, probably 15 yard in route. You can't start just smart read an in route, right? It's, it's kind of a little bit next level. So then I'll show you Tampa two here. So if I go Tampa two, you'll see, wait for it right there and you see I can kind of fit it in there now again if they're usering if they're usering it then that's one thing but if you're just facing you know kind of a standard uh, kind of a standard zone then that's another thing let me see if I can get this guy out of out of the way here but you'll see if I wait for it wait for it wait for it wait for it right there I can kind of fit it in and the point with the in route is you can basically fit it in at different points of of the uh, progression. If I smart route it, you'll see it'll shorten the in route. And um, you'll see the yellows kind of come down on it a little bit more. So that's why smart routed in routes aren't always the best. But that deep, deep in route is really effective. And then let me show you this against cover four. Again, this is just max, max protect, block an eight. And you'll see right there and you see I get that diving animation and then man to man man to man it's not as effective um, uh, man to man's more about route running so if you have players with good route running you're gonna be fine but here you'll see if I if I click on you see it's just not that great against man so that's kind of the price you pay but if you have like a if you have like a Tyree kill or someone like that running that in route you'll see one other thing I did want to show you is if I motion that deep corner route over like this right here, you can see this will turn into an interesting, interesting route. But if you roll out right there, kind of get that crossing animation. It's almost like a deep cross. But anyways, that's deep corner. That's how you run the two man protection, two, two man max protect scheme. The reason it's so good and the reason that this is probably one of the better base plays is because you can block so many people um, and you can you can either roll out, which that's how effective escape artists, dashing dead eye, that duo, you have to have that on your quarterback this year. If you're if you are a passer, you have to, and I mean have to, have dashing dead eye and um, throw uh, escape artists. You need to have those two abilities enabled on your quarterback because it's going to really help you. Um, it's really, really going to help you with that right there. That animation is going to be very consistent, as you can see. When I roll out with my quarterback, it changes everything. So now with my base play, my base formation, I need to know if I can have a play that can go exactly the opposite direction. Well, I do. I have the play mesh post, as you can see here. So if I max protect... And then if I take Sammy Watkins, I can put him on a streak. I can put him on an out route. I can do a lot of things. I can just leave him on the drag route. Um, you know, what I'll typically do is put Tyreek Hill on that route right there. 
and then I can take Sammy Watkins and put him on a sh- just a fade um, or a deep out if I wanted to ki- get that same kind of same kind of animation. But here for now, I'll just put him on that. And you see, if I roll left, then I can hit this, and I obviously throw it a little too late. But I also have the play wide receiver post, which is another cross, which is more of a crossing animation. I don't have it. Uh, I didn't come out in it. But I could run the play verticals, right? So I could easily max protect this. And then I could just take Sammy Watkins and I could place him on a, you know, just a simple man beater right there. And then I can typically will be able to fit that in if I can get a good, better pass lead than what I got. And that's why the play wide receiver post is so effective. But with mesh post, what I get is I get a nice post route. That's more of like an in route. And then you'll see I can motion him out. And you'll see right there I can get that diving catch animation. And I got to practice it a little bit more. But with repetition, you'll be able to do that. And that's what I'm talking about, about having that counter play. And you'll see here if I max protect, motion him out right there I can get that animation pretty consistently and again you don't necessarily have to even motion him out what you could do um, with mesh post is you could just motion Tyreek Hill so you get your eight-man protection and then you go right there as you can see that's pretty consistent and again that's three double buzz that's probably the best defense they're gonna give you Um, let me show you Tampa 2 Best base defense, anyway. But you'll see right in that window right there. And I get that nice diving catch animation. So, you know, you got things that kind of go both directions, which is nice. But with the deep corner, again, this is just a simple max protect. But because max protect, or because that in route is so powerful, you can just hit that over and over and over again. And they're going to have to use her that. They're going to basically have to do a lot of hybrid coveraging, and they're going to have to essentially use her that corner route. And if you can get out of the pocket, because that corner route is deadly out of the pocket, as you can see, you can fit that in against a lot of different uh, windows and coverages and things like that. So anyways, guys, that's a little bit of what to look for in a base play. And I wanted to kind of break down a little bit as to why bunch is so critically important for you to understand why people use it. It's not just because of the routes. It's because of the fact that you can max protect. Um, it's because of the fact that you can literally block. They have some very powerful routes and you can block so many people. Um, you can block, I think right there, I blocked eight people which should be able to pick up any blitz that they throw at you. I mean, should be able to pick up any blitz they throw you. If you slide right, if you do your pass protection right, if you do all those things right, this should be able to, to really help you pick up pressure. And if you can run a two-route scheme, and because the routes out of the gun bunch are so effective, that deep in route is going to be one of the key routes, I think, to look at for next year in Madden because with route chemistries, you don't really need corner routes anymore. What you need is in routes. You need those deeper in routes, deep angled post routes, things like that. And so that's what the bunch allows from this. Um, and then really briefly here, you can run this kind of angled post here out of deep attack. And you can get that same kind of animation that you get from mesh post. You can get that dive and catch animation. Again, you might have to wait a little bit. But it's having those deep end breaking patterns. And then what's going to happen is you still have the old old fat, old fashioned out route um, that you can throw against pretty much everything except Tampa 2. But if they run Tampa 2 against that in route or that in breaking post route, then they're going to be struggling. So you see how it's kind of a cat and mouse kind of game. Um, but anyways, guys, that's what I wanted to show you today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it helped. And just leave uh, uh, leave a like if you enjoyed it. And then lastly, if you want to look for... Uh